Hey, what's up you guys? It's me Tristan and I'm really excited for today's reaction video because we are reacting to a rated R animated film, The Watchmen Chapter 1 Red Band Trailer 4K Warner Bros. Entertainment from Warner Bros. Entertainment's YouTube channel. I love animated films and I think some of the best animated films are the R-rated ones because they have the most freedom in terms of storytelling, in terms of artwork. I think some of the coolest animated scenes that come to mind include a lot of the manga scenes from Kill Bill. Those were so well done um, with Lucy Liu's character. And then what else? I really love the animated Lady Death series back in the day. Um, the Killing Joke with Joker and then also the one where he killed Robin. I think the more gory, I'm not sure if those were rated R, but they were pretty graphic. I just think the more gory animated films are so cool. So definitely give rated R animated films a shot if you haven't already. The storytelling is great. And I already know I'm going to love this. I know nothing about it, but I know it's going to be great. I also love The Watchmen and I love DC Comics, especially darker DC Comics like DC Vertigo um, titles, The Sandman, Preacher, um, Constantine. So uh, yeah, let's get into The Watchmen Chapter 1 right now. Let me know what you guys think, if you guys like DC Comics and if you guys like animated films or The Watchmen. October 13th, 1985. This looks so good. I feel like they try way harder with the animation on R-rated movies, too. On Friday night, a comedian died in New York. The Watchmen is just one of the best, best comic books of all time. Somebody knows why. These days, nobody's safe. I'm so excited. I loved the Watchmen movie too and Dr. Manhattan's character. The comedian is dead. Why? You're supposed to be the world's smartest man, Vite. It was active for 40 years. Men make a This looks like it could be as good as the live action. I'm so excited for this. A lot of enemies in that time. Blake was a monster. <laughs> the comedian was really bad. We're society's only protection. <laughs> Protection from who? From themselves. Yeah, this really was one of the best graphic novels ever created, like along with The Dark Knight. Um, if you guys want to give our first graphic novel a shot, check it out on TristanHuntCA.com or comic book. Who killed Edward Blake? No, 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 no! Maybe this was a political killing, or maybe someone's picking off costumed heroes. I thought I knew how the world was, but then I found out about this gag. I know Shagun Fall. Doesn't fit. Waiting for a flood. I'm so excited for this. Usher enlightenment. A world grows up around me, but am I shaping it? I want to know who's behind this! It's a joke, but I don't get it! Every day, the future. This was such a good story. It survived so many decades because of how well done it was. It sure looks a little bit darker. But the past keep getting brighter all the time. It is too late. Always has been. Always will be. Who's behind this? I don't know. Not convinced. <laughs> This looks so good, and I don't know if you guys follow DC Comics, but the Convergence title that finally brought the Watchmen into the DC Universe is so good too, so give that comic book title a read if you haven't already. There's good, and there is evil, and evil must be punished. Even I like Rorschach's motto about punishing evil, because I do think evil should be punished. I know that's not the most like even batman doesn't punish the bad guys but sometimes you're like dude batman just kill the guy you know been in the face of armageddon i shall not compromise on this 
is gonna be a chapter one. I hope there's more chapters because this looks so good. It's gonna be on digital. Oh, nice. You could you could buy the comic and read it too. I reading graphic novels is a completely different experience. It's just like reading a book is different than watching the movie. So I highly and I love graphic novels because they're a visual as well as a um, a reading experience. So definitely get into them if you want. But start with good ones or else you're just not going to like comics if you pick up a, a bad one. All right, you guys, that was the Watchmen Chapter 1, the Red Band trailer 4K from Warner Brothers Entertainment. Um, I think it looks so good. I love that it's going to be based on the original graphic novel. I love Rorschach, the comedian, Dr. Manhattan. Um, I just think this is going to be so awesome. I love rated R animated movies because, again, I feel like they could do much more with the animation. I think that they're able to stay truer to the comic book as well because a lot of times a lot of the comic book artwork is really gory and um, when they translate it into live action they can't be as gory as they were in a lot of the comic book panels and then a lot of the story kind of gets lost when you can't be as graphic as the graphic novels so I think it's awesome that they're making the animated movie rated R and it's really smart of the creators to do that because I think they can do so much more when you're allowed to stay truer to the graphic novels that aren't always the safest for children and especially titles that are more mature like the DC Vertigo titles which gave birth to the Sandman and um, Preacher and countless others amazing but darker stories that appealed to adult readers. I think the creation of DC Vertigo titles was one of the most genius things that DC Comics did and also why DC Comics tends to have, I mean aside from more recently Disney purchasing Marvel, why DC Comics tends to have a more mature um, audience base and reader base in terms of the comics it's because they've always made that separation for okay these are more of our kiddie titles appeals to everyone and these are our darker stories that some of our adult readers will appreciate more appreciate some of the complexity appreciate more of the storytelling and maybe even some of the artwork so or especially the artwork um, I think there is a difference between the artwork between the mainstream and the more mature um, a lot of the mature titles tend to give indie artists more of a shot at making a name for themselves and because of that I feel like there's a lot more effort put into the panels. So um, yeah, I love this. I'm definitely going to be watching this. Please keep sending me more pop culture stuff to react to. Also, don't forget to sign up for our 100% free VIP email list if you want to be updated about when we drop a new streetwear fashion item on our store. And with that, I will see you guys in our next reaction video.